Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Daily Grind. Uh, it's not quite reset yet, it's quite early in the morning actually. Um, but I decided I wanted to make a monster uh, um, mutate deck. Mutate deck. So we are going to build ourselves a mutate deck, and as usual, we'll play test it a bit. Um, so let's just take a look at. I don't need my profile. I need my collection. And so the thing we want to do is we want to first make sure. I don't think there's any I, not, I, I haven't collected, but we'll just put that on there as well. And search for the keyword mutate. And as always, uh, if you guys could please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave comments below. It's all good for the algorithm. Uh, helps me out, helps, it's, uh, helps YouTube out, determine what you guys want to watch. Um, so, these are our mutate cards, right? With the keyword mutate in them. So obviously I think some mutates are better than others. I think green um, has one of the highest uh, or best usage mutates because uh, if you look at you get the essence and be out right so whenever your creature you control mutates it gets plus one plus one counter and you gain two life and he's a quick easy out the glowstone recluse is another pumper and you know how I like my green pumpers right so again quick efficient uh, casting uh, to get him out um, and then you can also get him just mutating uh, this one's really good um, for whenever this creature mutates destroy target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls so you can either destroy artifacts aka witch's oven uh, heraldic banners I don't know there's uh, Great Hinges, uh, Ember Cleave, um, and Enchantments. Do I need to mention all that glitters? Uh, <laughs> just out of the blue. Uh, this one's just great for Mana Ramp. And the Auspicious Sterix uh, is good for card draw, I believe, right? Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X. Permanent cards where X is the number of times this creature is mutated. Put those permanent cards on the battle. Yeah, pretty good. Black has some excellent removal. Um, whenever this creature mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. Um, what is it? Batra, right? Yeah, whenever this creature mutates, it's a short target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Um... Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life. So, I mean, black green, I think, is where it's at, honestly, for mutate. Um, as far as the multicolored cards, we got uh, Boneyard Lurker. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. I like the the one that creates the tokens. Um, I mean, probably the most effective mutate decks are going to be three colors. Um, I don't know what third color would be the most effective in this. I think. This one creates two white token, white life uh, link cat tokens. This one, uh, th this is probably one of the more useless ones because it's only until end of turn. I like permanent effects. Volcapete is good because it mutates and gets a plus one, plus one, and it's flying, so it's a form of invasion. Uh, this one you gain life. Yeah, 
I don't like. I don't know if I like the um, Poliwonk symbiote. The Sea Dasher Octopus is good. Card draw advantage. Dream Taw. More card draw. I don't know, you know. See, because you, like with black, you also get like the quick. Here's a one casting cost, right? Mutator, or not, but a mutate effect. Um, green has the same thing, or he has the two casting cost essence in meal. Red has like the Porky Parrot is probably one of the better mutate ones. Especially if like you can get the combo of the uh, death touch in there, like was used in me in the previous uh, um, daily grind. Like I went up against mutate with my mono green, and my mono green has no effective removal. It's just built to stop over shit. Um, and th he he got this on a Knight of the Ebon League, so he just kept giving a Death Touch and then would tap it. Wouldn't matter, one point of damage with Death Touch is, is lethal. Now, where is the one that I really, 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 really like? Um, it's the one I didn't get, right? No. No, it's not Luna. Where did I, I thought it was one of the... Brokos, there he is, yeah. So you can keep mutating something back from the graveyard. Bam, 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 bam. Flying first strike. Death touch lifelink. Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Wow. Wow. And see that's that's a white black green but you could mutate it just for black green creature planeswalker has double strike Is there a way you can look at it without looking at the Godzilla version? There we go. Okay, they did make it, so okay, that's good. <sighs> Bio Quartz, could you do this one too for mutate, right? You make it, oh yeah, I already said that. Just cast it from the graveyard. Target on creature convert card with converter mana cost three or less from here without paying to mana cost. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, so let's 
go build this puppy. Mutate. That's the keyword. And search not collected as well. Like I said, I think it's only the one that I don't have collected. Let's try a black green mutate, shall we? All right, so obviously we got this guy, right? He's flash flying a 4-4 or a 3-3 flash flying with mutate. And whenever you mutate, destroy target creature and opponent or planeswalker controls for. And that's pretty good. Now select format, we want traditional standard, though I don't ever put a sideboard right away. Let's choose card sleeve. I haven't been doing that lately. i got to do that more often. Um, So let's think about black green, right? So I'm thinking the best black green right is right here the gym razor which i only have two of so we're going to have to probably is he a rare or mythic he's just a rare so not too bad on the rares i got a few i can spare um let's keep him out there um glowstone recluse right That's the symbiote. That's already 56 cards? Holy cow. All it is is mutates. Didn't even throw this guy in there. <clears throat> I don't know if we want Zagat's Mamba. I think I'd rather have something in there that collector or let's craft all yeah I'm not worried about two rares and two uncommons um do I want to put any of uh I think where is it this guy not that guy this guy Nope, not that guy. Or do I want to just look at, like, maybe not have all, like, knock these down to three and put in some mana ramp? And it would also give me more creatures to mutate onto. Or 
There's one I don't have right here, right? No, not a Luna. Where's Broco? Broco Minoco. Right there. No. Broco. Okay. See, because for what? Five? I think he's a two of. Don't want any islands in there. So he'll. I mean, he costs more than Broco. Of course, each opponent sacrificing creature is pretty big, but so let's get rid of one of him and one of the other high end casting costumes. We might actually be able to go. So let's. You know, I like my three ups, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, and then. Uh, uh, what do I need? I need an uh, overgrown tomb. there. And that gives me room for another mana producer. Gilded Goose! It has a secondary purpose. He's good. He has a big butt. He has the big butt. Whatever happened to Lana War Elves, man? Just your one casting cost, tap. Let's see, both of these would be good too. Because they have a secondary ability. I think I like his big butt. How do I not have four of those? Three commons? Yes, we can do three commons. Um, I think that might work. Got some recursion. How am I against flyers? He has reach. Okay, so that's good. Flash flying. Good. Reach, good. Okay, so I, I have I have a decent amount against flyers. Um hell? Shall we give it a try? Um where's my new deck? Mutate Um Golgari Mutate. That's what we'll do. Golgari Mutate. All right, and as always, it is time to test out 
my new deck. I'm at platinum level, guys, so... I mean, I'm just barely there, so I can't go down, which is a good thing. But this is going to be a competitive level. These are people who have net decks galore, lots of time in. So it'll be a different type of playtesting, but we'll see. Who's my first opponent? It says ready. Again, shiki, 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 shiki. Um, good curve. I think I'm good. I can keep that. I mean, I don't have any turn one play, so. Oh, that's what I should have. Damn it. Should add some fable passages. Go, which way do we go? I think we go like this. Why can't I cast this new too? Why won't let me cast with mutate? Could I not mutate? Oh, it has to be non-human. That would be why. <laughs> okay. I mean, they were getting mana screwed, so I can understand. Been there, buddy. Understand. Alright, let's play again. 1 0 so far. Evenly matched. Not so cow. Oh, I think I'm good with this. A little bit slower, but I got some acceleration. Definitely got the land base.
what are you gonna do? You can't counter it with a red and white mana. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah, put that in the graveyard. Go ahead. I dare you to. That would be the stupidest thing you could do. Oh, it exiles it? Damn, okay. Um... Shall we? No, we'll pass. No attacks. In turn. I'm not letting you go after my my uh, hexproof dude right now. Not gonna happen. That whenever you cycle a card. Why did it make me do that? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Motherfucker. It's not what I wanted to do. That so was not what I wanted to do. Why did it tap that? God damn it. I hate those memory leaks. I really, really fucking do. Dude, what are you going to do? You can't do anything else. Fuck! Go! These guys, I really need vigilance. Okay.
I have no blocks because guess what? I'm I'm good. Does it cost to mutate that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. He can't do anything though. He can attack me for three. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're two and oh. I didn't think I thought, like, uh, as soon as he started getting rid of my cards, I'm like, shit. But it did make me see a flaw is, uh, I gotta remember to choose my mana casting cost because it's, it's tapping my non-tappables. And I need something with Vigilance, which is only white, though. Is there, is there any black? So let's, let's take a peek at this thing real quick. No, we don't want blue. Vigilance. I know there's a few... I was about to say, green is going to have vigilance people, creatures. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mutate a questing beast? Vigilance, death touch, and haste? Oh, my. With his abilities? Oh. I mean, I don't think anybody even realizes the middle freaking text of Questing Beast, which is the combat damage that would be dealt by creatures you control, can't be prevented. Everybody knows that can't be blocked by power two, and it deals equal damage to planeswalkers, but I don't think anybody... Damn. Give me a moment, guys. I gotta go use the restroom. I'll be right back, and then we'll figure out something. Something with Vigilance and Hexproof would be freaking amazing. 
Yeah, this is getting into too high casting cost. And I don't think Vigilance is a black thing at all. Two, two for two. Finder would be pretty good, but it's so high casting cost. See, I don't like that three. If it was two, starting deck as a cat. Elemental Nightmare Dinosaur or Beast card, which it isn't. Where's Beast? I got Druid, Druid, Elf, Elf and Human Druid, Spider, Bat, Nightmare. Yeah, see, it doesn't give me Spider or Bat either. Though, um, which one is it? It's this one? No, I don't. That one's not bad. It's real high casting cost. That one might, might or might not come out. Um. See, I got that for Mutate, so I, I don't know if I really need all that mana gen. Um, I don't want anything legendary, I don't think. I want something that I can get out quick, which is going to be two is as quick as I get anything out. Battlefield under your control gets plus one gains vigilance. He's not bad. He's got a big butt and he's vigilant. That isn't bad either because it gives me options. This one, not so much. Questing Beast would just be a fucking bomb. Let's look at Hexproof too. Hexproof, it would be another one that if, if they don't have Vigilance... Yeah, not, not a whole lot in the Hexproof area for... Uh, Stuffs. Like, uh, like the best. The best is going to be. Um, I mean, Barkai Troll. Because it gets those counters, but then if you mutate it right and you put something over it. Oh, and plus it gets counters. Oh, oh, like Essence Symbiote, it gets a, oh, I think we're stumbled under something here. I think we're dead. I think we'll remove these guys and put in four Bark Eye Trolls. I think that's good. I think that's very good. I think we need to change this though and add one more forest. Oh wait, take out one swamp. While we're at it, forest. Do we want Castle Garen Brig? Yeah. Or do we want Lockthwain? Could always add triomes too, right? Where is my? Uh, I could add uh, the Zagoth triome. To 
give me that extra blue if I actually needed it to cast cast Brokos, but I mean I do have Paradise Druids. But does a uh, for a basic land type and it puts it into play or put it on the battlefield tapped. Why not? So we can get rid of fun, cool, three, four. Um, but that's not what I wanted to look for. I wanted to get some pretty lands into my deck. And no, I'm not going to buy the goddamn Godzilla lands. We'll go with some uh, un un unsanctioned lands. Swamps. Hey, there's my swamps right there. Swamps. I mean, it was working okay, but I want to see how Barkai Trolls work in there. Especially with, like, Essence Symbiotes and stuff. Where he can get more and more plus one, plus one counters. Done. We are done. Alright, so we're 2-0. Oh. Let's try a third game. Don't like people exiling my shit either, though. Um, yeah, we, we, I think we can do this. Uh, I don't have any real quick plays, but to get a third land, we're off to the races. Life gain. Oh, against Luros. I might as well concede now. I don't like Luros. Yeah, cycling shit. Oh, Luros was cycling. That's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. I'm just going to concede right now because there's no way I'm getting rid of that shit. Is he mono white? And he brings back Oh, that's pretty good. No blocks. What are you, what are you going to do? An enchantment of some sort? A flash enchantment? Yeah, I don't play against Loros though, so you're lucky I'm sticking in with this, buddy. And they didn't give me any mana, shocker. Is that an enchantment? No, it's a creature. So I need to mutate Batra, actually. No, I can't mutate him either. Yeah, I didn't get the mana. We're done. I can't. Not against Loros. He gets Luros out next turn, brings back all that shit. Yeah, not happening. All right, two and one. I mean, at this point in this level in the game, like, I'm playing against, like, really crafted decks, so I kind of know if I'm going to win or lose. And especially if I get mana screwed, it's not going to work. Um, I guess we can try that. So I can get out Essence Symbiote rather quickly. Get a couple good draws in there. And he's playing Luros too. 
Why am I not surprised? I didn't even look. Frick. I don't even want to play against Loro. I really, really, really don't. Yep, he's going to kill off my essence symbiote. Sack them both, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah. Fucking A. Yeah, I hate Loros. I'm not I'm not playing against Loros. Not happening. Just not happening. I not uh, okay, so I'm not gonna count Loros because Loros is going to be banned. In case you guys didn't know, he will be banned. Um, so I'm not counting those games. I wouldn't be surprised if they do an emergency ban, but I guarantee he will be banned. Let's see if this person is playing Loros. Oh my god, I'm... Nope, not even playing. Gone. Is everybody fucking playing Luros, or are they just going to pit me against Luros non-stop? That was three Luros decks in a row. And at this point, I can't go down, so I'll just concede against Luros all freaking day. Oh my god, someone not playing Luros. We're good. Good with Hushbringer. Now, Hushbringer doesn't stop mutate, does it? I don't think it does. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Guess we'll find out, won't we? 